Hi everyone, welcome back to Dimitra's Dishes. So today I'm going to teach you how to make psari plaki, which is basically fish cooked in a really nice tomato and onion sauce. It's so delicious, so simple to make. We're going to go over the ingredients and we're going to get started. So you're going to need a large onion, some olive oil, a few cloves of garlic that have been peeled, about two pounds of fish. I'm using cod today, but use your favorite white fish some canned tomatoes that have been pureed, a little bit of salt, oregano, some red pepper flakes, black pepper, a little bit of sugar, some parsley, and some kalamata olives, which are optional. So plaki is basically anything that's roasted in the oven with tomatoes, vegetables, and olive oil. So we're gonna begin with onions because this dish is known to be cooked with lots of sweet roasted onions. So I have a big onion right here. You can use red onions or white onions. It's totally optional. So we're just gonna slice this in half and then cut it into half moons in pretty thin slices. We're gonna begin by putting our sliced onions in a pot. We're gonna put some olive oil on top and cook these over medium heat for about 10 minutes or until they're nice and soft. The onions are almost ready, so I'm just gonna grate all four of these garlic cloves onto my microplane using my microplane actually. So the onions are nice and soft. I'm gonna add my garlic. The onions really take about eight to 10 minutes and they don't need to be melting or anything like that. Just get them nice and soft. Just let the garlic warm through because it is grated. You don't want it to burn. Then we're gonna add our pureed tomatoes. This is gonna make a beautiful rich sauce. And then of course we have to season. So we're gonna put a little bit of salt some dried oregano, because I love heat. I'm gonna put some crushed red pepper flakes and just a pin, just a little bit of sugar, just like half a teaspoon. You could leave it out if you don't like it. And then we're gonna give it a nice mix and let this simmer for about 10 minutes over medium heat. So after about 10 minutes, the sauce will have thickened. Go ahead and taste it and adjust the seasoning if it's needed by adding a little bit more sugar if it's too acidic or some salt and pepper if it needs some. But I'm gonna set this aside because this is done. So the sauce is super simple to make, as you can see. I'm just seasoning my fish now. I'm using cod fish, but again, you could use any fish that you like. Traditionally, my mom used to, uh, makes this actually with salted cod, also known as bacalhau. It has a few extra steps to, to do, so I chose not to use that fish today. I just went with my second favorite, which is uh, just regular plain frozen cod fish that I've thawed out. It's easily accessible in the supermarket, but you can use any white fish, white flaky fish that you like. Just make sure you season both sides. So now I'm just gonna put, I'm gonna, and now I'm just gonna layer it all together. I'm gonna set the fish aside for a little while. I'm gonna put half of the sauce right. I'm gonna layer just, I'm just gonna layer it on the bottom of my baking pan. You don't even have to wait for it to cool down. And then I'm gonna put the fish on top of the sauce. This is a great weeknight dish, especially because you can make the sauce way ahead of time. You can make the sauce way ahead of time and just keep it in an airtight mason jar in your refrigerator and then just put it together just on a busy weeknight. Pour all of the sauce on top. And then I sliced up these kalamata olives and I removed their pit because I love the way they taste in red sauces. And I'm just gonna sprinkle them on top. And that's it. It's ready to go in the oven. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna let the fish bake for about 35 to 40 minutes or until it starts to flake easily. And I'll show you what it looks like as soon as it comes out. My fish took 40 minutes in the oven to bake. It's out, you wanna let it rest a little bit so it's not piping hot. And then I'm just gonna chop up some parsley. This is great, served just the way it is with some nice toasted bread, with some pasta, maybe some mashed potatoes. So I'm just gonna garnish it with some freshly chopped parsley for some color. You could do basil too if you wanted to, a little bit of dill, whatever you like. I have some pasta here that I've cooked al dente. Now I'm going to go in and get a little piece of fish with some sauce. Now the longer this sauce thick, uh, sits, <laughs> the thicker it's going to get. So I love the onions and the olives. It's so nice. I'm going to go in and give it a little taste. Let's see. Let me just show you how flaky the fish is. You see that? It's perfectly cooked when it flakes like that. So I have an onion, some of the sauce. And I don't want to lose this kalamata olive. I'm going to go in and give it a taste. Mm. 
The fish is nice and fresh. All the flavors go together so well. A perfect dish to serve any day of the week, but even nice enough to serve to company. You can get this web. The <laughs> You can get the recipe on the website, www.demetriusdishes.com. It's also in the description box right underneath the video below. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today, and I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.